The Connecticut Noise Math Teacher Leaders Program is a five-year professional learning and service program. It comprises 20 fellows who are veteran secondary math teachers in Connecticut's Alliance Districts. We have two main goals for the Connecticut Math Teacher Leaders Program. One is to develop a cadre of 20 exceptional veteran secondary math teachers and support them in becoming math teacher leaders. The other is to advance the infrastructure in Connecticut so that in an ongoing way we can support the development of math teacher leaders. So we have a wonderful leadership team. We have uh, Gladys Kersaint, who's one of the vice provosts at UConn. We have Fabiana Cardetti, who's in the mathematics department at UConn. And we have Jen Michalek, who is a consultant for the Connecticut State Department of Education. So the value of teacher leadership from the state perspective is incredibly critical in mathematics. It's really important for us to grow our own math teacher leaders from our pool of math teachers who are out there, particularly given what a shortage area math is. I think the program is obviously very specific to mathematics teachers that have a very, very strong willingness to not only lead, but also remain in the classroom. And that's one thing that I learned very quickly with the fellows. They were very, very passionate about building their capacity, enhancing their communication and their leadership skills while maintaining their roles in the classroom and what that could look like for them. So the fellows are building a toolbox to be able to be leaders. It starts with being a leader in a classroom for their students and really ensuring that all students have access to high levels of mathematics. I think that then transcends into the school with their fellow math teachers. And as that expands, it becomes the balloon effect. From the school, it moves out to the district, and our goal is from the district to the state. I think that this program has made me a better teacher, hands down. Like, I thought that I was doing a pretty good job beforehand, and because of this program, I am seeing in my own classroom the community that is forming between my students, um, the way that they're thinking. In just two years, I've seen my students thriving. My classroom has seven different languages some days in one room, and seeing my students in multiple languages figuring out how to solve one problem is just like, this is amazing. This has been, just in the last two years, by far the best professional development that I've had. There are just so many opportunities and so many things that I've gotten to do that I wasn't sure I would ever do. And this program has been really good about helping teachers to sort of take on those leadership roles and be a little bit more courageous and try to scale our impact. So the fellows are amazing. So they've certainly had wonderful impact. In year one, one thing that we did was a survey at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year of their students. So we had over 900 students surveyed. They talked about having more opportunities to actively engage, and they talked about the fact that they were more comfortable in math class than in previous years. I think another valuable thing about the fellowship is the collaboration amongst teachers in Alliance Districts. We've all shared materials, we can call each other if we're having a problem, and we'll work together and figure it out. So it's been nice to have that group of people to talk to, lean into, and share with. I love hearing about what other fellows are doing, and um, a lot of the ideas that I'm bringing into my own classroom are coming from listening to these other teachers. Like there are some great, great um, strategies that I brought into my classroom that have come because at least three or four other fellows have said, oh, try this next. I did this, see how it goes with you. It's like collaboration across districts, which is awesome. The fellows have created a wonderful community. We've had a lot of time working together. They've had coursework together in the summers. And just throughout the year, they stay connected. We have our collaborative learning groups, which meet bi-weekly in small groups of four or five, facilitated by a project lead. So the individual learning projects are essentially an action research project where a fellow takes a problem of practice and something they're very passionate about, and they formulate a question. And all of these questions are to understand more about teaching and learning in ways that having the answer to that question can support more equitable outcomes for students. So through the fellowship I've had the opportunity to work with a graduate student at UConn and we've worked together primarily this year on equitable assessment practices to help students show their understanding and achieve higher goals in mathematics. 
This is my first year actually getting a student teacher, and it's something that I've wanted like for a very long time, and so I'm really excited to have this student teacher with me. And so because of the program, we've like talked about how to lead other teachers, and it's been really rewarding watching my student teacher, who's only been right now for like a month or so, but I've seen her grow already. It's an opportunity to increase capacity on behalf of students for all of the Alliance districts. But if there's a way that we can grow it and bring more stakeholders to the table, that could be a powerful opportunity. I hope for the broader education community is to think about how can you look at your own resources, your own veteran experienced math teachers who are very successful and think about how to expand their impact. Our teachers are wonderful with their students in their classroom, but to get to a point where we have more equity in mathematics education, we need to expand their capacity and support them in having an impact beyond their classroom, whether it's at the school level, the district level, or even beyond.